Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this pop of color eyeshadow look for you guys. Um, I just wanted to play in some color because I haven't really done any makeup videos really and like this is a beauty channel i haven't really done that many makeup videos and i want to do a pop of color i want to do something a little bit different out of my comfort zone for the girls so yeah this is what i came up with um i hope you guys like it and if you do don't forget to like comment and subscribe also go watch some older videos of mine follow me on my socials and yeah let's jump right into the video Okay, so first I'm going to be taking this Morphe palette. This is the 35B shade, and I'm just going to be taking this purple shade right here. And I'm really going to um, pack that on, give myself a line like this, because I want it to be... Okay, I went in a little bit, but I forgot to prime with the base, and I'm just using this Morphe concealer, I believe. And this is just a pure white. So it's going to make the color show up really, really good. As you can see, it's literally just white. And I'm just going to prime my lids with that and blend it out with my finger. And that's just going to help us set our base and blend really good and also get really good pigmentation with the color. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with that purple. And like I said, I'm just gonna uh, build this up and just kind of give it a line like this. And then I'm gonna blend it eventually. But I just wanna get it darkened for my um, crease. Just wanna get the crease darkened. <laughs> Next. I'm gonna take this shade right above it. It's more of a lilac type of purple. I'm taking it on like a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend that right above what I just did um, just to blend the edges out so it's not so harsh and also so we can have like a nice transition shade so it's not just one flat purple. All right, so I do have it blended. I'm gonna go back in with that very first purple and just deepen this crease. Um, but I'm just keeping it, um, keeping it in the crease. <laughs> like I'll be having brain farts anytime I do these type of videos, like talk through videos. Cause I just be talking, like I just be going off the dome. But yeah, just like that. I'm loving this so far. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm gonna just cut the crease with my hand or my nail. Just like that. I took some of that white that I just applied on the lid and I'm just gonna pick that up with a little brush and I'm just going to cut the crease. I think I kind of want to do the crease just a little bit higher. I want the lid to be like the star of the show, so I'm just gonna do it a little bit higher. Now that we have the crease cut, let's go back in with that purple, the very first one, the, the deeper one. And we are just going to bring it in the outer V like so okay so for the star of the show we are gonna take this blue right here um, 
it's a very bright blue and I'm just gonna pack that right on the white but let me use a smaller mirror before I mess up all right so now that i have both of the eyes done i'm just gonna take this black liner by kylie and i'm just gonna give myself a wing liner but i'm gonna keep it thin thinner on the inner corners like that like thinner on the I wish I would have kept it thinner honestly but it's okay and then I'm just gonna drag it out a little bit like that um, I'm gonna smoke it out with the black liner the black eyeshadow <laughs> this one to be specific in the palette and I just got a pencil brush and I'm just gonna give that a little smoking out And this is how it came out um it's smoked out so i'm just gonna do the same on the other side and i'll be right back okay so i went ahead and cleaned up my liner and i put some lashes on now i'm gonna do the face so i'm gonna be taking this milk hydro primer um and just rubbing that all on my face <sighs> i'm sick guys also, this is my second video I made today, so I still have the same outfit on. But two videos and one night, I'm on a roll. I know I always say this in every video that I want to be consistent. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna be taking this NARS um, Natural Radiant Foundation in the shade Barcelona, and I'm just gonna put this on the lazy way because I'm lazy. Gonna do a little dabbing around like so. That's probably too much on my forehead. And like always, I'm gonna take my Morphe sponge and just blend. This foundation dries kind of quick. So next time I'm gonna have to work in sections as you can see it dried a little bit. So it's kind of not hard to blend, but it's a little bit more difficult to blend. So definitely if you use this, I would definitely um, try to blend it in sections, maybe one half of your face and then the other half. But got the job done. Okay, next I'm gonna take my ABH foundation stick and espresso. This is like my holy grail that I always use for cream contouring. Go above your um, actual cheekbones because it blends down a little bit. And then, yeah, let's blend, baby. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my NARS Pot Concealer in the shade Custard, and I'm just gonna take a flat brush like this and just apply that under the eye. And I'm gonna sharpen that up a little bit. 
And I'm also gonna bring it on the side of the nose. Like that. Morphe sponge, give that a blend. This part of the sponge is just so good. Like you can really get in there and get a precise line and blend really well. And I also like it for the nose as well, so. Definitely don't sleep with this sponge, y'all. Like, I talk about it in all my videos because I use it every day. I wouldn't say every day, but I use it whenever I do my makeup because it's bomb. You can see how chiseled that is. Um, another thing I want to, I like to do is I'll take the end of this part and I'll just run whatever I have left right up under my cream contour just so when I'm powder, I can have a guideline. And it won't be too harsh um, also, like if I was doing it with powder, so. Yeah. I'm gonna actually contour my nose first and my face before I set my under eyes. So. That was just the Bahama Mama bronzer, which I contour my nails with. I always contour my nails with it. Now I'm gonna take the NARS Paradise Found. Is that the shade? Yeah, Paradise Found is the shade. And I'm gonna try to not bring it any further down than that line that I already have. So I'm just gonna use a very light hand. The temples and the baby hairs um, it has shimmer on it on the actual powder um, like in this area like halfway down but once you start to like blend the shimmer went away but it's actually showing up a little bit on my forehead not right there though that's weird <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go on with this Beauty Bakery um, setting powder. It's the yellow shade. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to blend out this creasing that I got from the concealer. I'm like letting from not setting it. And that's all it needs. Just a little blending. So just pressing that in to my skin. Bringing it on the side of the nose. And pressing it in. Just so we can get that smooth finish and brightening up the under eye. Can't forget the forehead. And the bridge of the nose. Next, I'm gonna take this Kylie Jenner shade called Batty on the Block, and I am just gonna dab that. Up. Okay, it's very pigmented. Dab that on my cheekbones, going up. And a little on the tip of my nose. Um, 
I'm definitely gonna blend that out because it's my first time using that. And then there's the pigmenter. But it's a pretty color, but I think it's clashing a little bit with my bronzer. So I'm just trying to blend that out a little bit and tone it down. Cause I really don't need to take it away from my eyeshadow anyway. So yeah, I'm loving this eyeshadow. Like I'm not even an eyeshadow, like a big eyeshadow wearer, but this is just super cute. I love it. All right, so for highlighter, I'm going in with this Joy highlighter in the shade Topaz. And I'm just gonna put that right on my um, cheekbones. And it's not too blinding or too glittery. So that's why I do like this. Cause again, I don't wanna take away from the actual makeup look, um, the actual eyeshadow look, I should say. And I'm also gonna take that and run it down my nose. Just like that. And let's also hit it above the, above, <laughs> under the brow like that. Just for a little pop of color. Let's do the inner corners while we're at it. Okay, so the face is done. Now let's just do the waterline. Going back in with that very first purple, I am just running this right on the waterline. Um, let's not bring it all the way in. Let's leave that for the blue. I took it about halfway like that. Let's go with that blue. We're just gonna put this on the inner corners. Do I like that? I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't think I like that. So I'm just gonna go over it with that purple. Just kind of fade it a little bit. Still keep a little bit of the blue showing, but I'm, I'm just gonna go over that purple. Now, do we need a black liner for this, guys? Let's do it. Let's do a black liner on the waterline. Looks good. This is just the Kylie Cosmetics black liner that I need to sharpen. Okay, yeah, I like that. Um, now it's time for mascara on the bottom lashes. Um, you guys know I only put it on like the first half of my lashes, so. That's what I'm doing. Now let's do the lips. All right, so since the eyes are so bold, I'm gonna keep the lips nude and I'm just gonna be taking this lip liner by Morphe in the shade called Bite Me and lining my lips. It's about to break up the tip. So I'm going to take this Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade 2020. And then I'm going to top it off with the Morphe Madison Bear collab in the shade Mercury, I believe. Yeah. And just apply that. Right on top. like that and that is the finished look I absolutely love how this came out um, like I said I don't really wear colored eyeshadow like that but this is really cute and I would definitely wear this um, I don't know where maybe with an outfit that's like crazy like this but yeah I 100% love it um, and I'm about to start wearing colored colored eyeshadow more cuz y'all this is cute like this is really cute Face is pretty beat. Lips look good. And yeah, I love it. 
And if you loved it also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.